Here we have an Asus laptop. It came in yesterday and customer said that he ripped the battery connector off the board. This is a very common repair that we do here and it's almost always an Asus laptop that has a broken battery connector. This is the battery connector right here and it looks like it had a prior repair attempt done on it. We have two missing pads. So this one is out. Let's do this one here too. Just get rid of unleaded solder by applying leaded. Maybe we can get rid of the glare. So this line is leading to back of the board. And it's a good thing that we still have this little piece left here. So that's one wire and let's do the other one. People down in the comments are gonna ask where I got this wire from. You can purchase it from our website at northridgefix.com, click on the shop section of the site and you can find all the stuff that we use here flux the wire test meters all that good stuff for international shipping we can no longer ship usps because usps is not delivering to most countries we have to ship via ups or fedex and shipping rates are a lot more expensive right now we have a flat rate of 45 dollars but sometimes we pay more than 45 to get the package shipped. I just hope the post office will go back to normal as they were before because we had the $10 flat rate shipping to any country in the world. Unless the package is over one pound, then it's $25 flat rate. But anything under one pound was $9. Now we have to charge $45 regardless of the weight of the package because UPS FedEx have no cheap option to send packages overseas. UV light.
We're going to apply it for about 20 seconds. We only have two pins in the center, but the rest are broken. So we're going to have to see how we're going to solder this connector back on. I do not have a similar connector in stock. connector made a connection which is good but we need a tip with a bigger surface area so it can transfer more heat So it's solid from all six pins, but we need to be careful doing the pins in the middle. I need to bend the pin down because it's too high. Same thing with this one. Okay. Now we do not know if those wires made a good connection with the pins, but we're going to find out. I mean, the pins are hidden and it's hard to see if they made a connection, but we're going to test using continuity mode on our multimeter. And let's see. Let's start with this one. Very good. And this one is good. This one is good. And this one is good. So we're all good. We're all good. Now the connector itself, I would like to secure it with maybe hot glue or crazy glue or whatever. I just do not want it to move. It's not going to move inside the laptop, but when we try to connect the battery, I do not want it to wobble and possibly rip those wires again. Okay, so let's wait for the glue to heal and we'll try it. That's the connector right here. It has to work because all the pins are making a good connection. And the connector looks solid. That's the battery right here. Okay, so the battery connector is in. And let's test. The battery is not secured with the screws yet, so we have to be careful. And let's try to power it on. If I can find the power button. All right here on this side. And I see a light on the board. Yeah, it's on. 
laptop is on. Okay. So the job is done. We're gonna call the customer to pick up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.